there's such a frontier mentality, I think, mm-hmm. that um, a lot of Americans have that I need to be able to survive on my own. Mm-hmm. How do communities and people in this room help mm-hmm. our elected officials start moving in the direction that you're suggesting? There's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a layered system, so there's always going to be a role for individual preparation. You know your needs and the needs of your household better than anyone else is going to. You're going to know uh, what are the routes that are going to allow me to pick up any children I might have. If I'm doing elder care, how do I make sure that my, all of my household members have what they need? Uh, so there's always going to be this role of the household doing some level of preparation. And so there's always going to be a role for um, understanding what that preparation looks like. The role for, as we get up into government, is to think through how do we help people tie together when these outages are much longer than their household can buffer, as well as not um, consistently making decisions that place people at risk. Uh, Any flooding occurrence in uh, Chapel Hill often hits a particular apartment complex. Part of what Chapel Hill can do is not necessarily being prepared to, um, you know, evacuate that um, apartment complex, which is what they're very ready to do, where you get uh, notices that complex, they have boats, they're ready to pull people out. Uh, I would make the argument, we have to provide affordable housing for people outside of those danger areas, outside of those vulnerable areas. There are places... Part of the reason why they're in these vulnerable areas is because the land is cheaper. That is where we've placed affordable housing. We've made that decision that affordable housing uh, is either placed on cheap land and built new, or we'll let other um, housing become affordable by dilapidation. We have to have a different idea about how we provide housing at a range of different income levels uh, in, in physical locations that that are not vulnerable, as vulnerable to uh, hurricanes or to flooding in general. Um, and that's, a, that's not at the individual level. That is a larger conversation at the municipal level, but also the state and federal level as their incentive structures um, can, can shift how uh, development occurs.